Hey, my pretties, welcome back. So today we have another Timu haul. Um, yes, <laughs> another Timu haul. I'm laughing at myself because I'm like, another one, another one. Okay, so before we jump into this video, um, yes, I have to give you guys some discount codes and all of that good stuff that comes with the Timu haul. <laughs> so if you download the Timu app, you'll get $100 in coupons for free, and that's for all users. Or you can use my code JOIN6867 on the Timu app, on the app, um, and that's on your phone, to claim. Um, you'll be able to claim that $100 uh, for free, and that is JOIN6867. Also, if you are on the website, like on your computer, and you're new and you've never made a purchase with Timu, then go ahead and use my code OFF. 9224 to get you 30% off your first purchase with Timu and that is on the website. So you have the website um code and then you also have the links and the um the information for the app on your phone. Okay. <laughs> I'll be trying not to forget none of that stuff uh, before we jump into this haul. So with that being said, let me show you guys. This one is not a really big haul. Um, yeah, I feel like, I feel like at this point, I probably found almost all the stuff that I really like on the Timu app. Um, and I've shared it with you guys before, um, already, but here's another haul, a few more items that, um, I want to share with you guys. You guys, this is the first time I've ever worn my hair like this. And I'm a little like, I don't know. I just feel, hopefully you guys like it. I'm still on the fence about it. I have like this headband pushing my hair back. And you guys know I'm getting used to this natural hair of mine. So, yeah, and I threw my little flower in there trying to coordinate, trying to coordinate. Okay, let me get into this haul. Hello? Yes? Yes? This is, this is pretty and flawed. Yes? You'd like to order what? A large pepperoni? Trick, no. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. Anyways, you guys, look at this phone. Oh my gosh. So you guys, this is one of the first items and I had to get this because I wanted to mess with my kids. I did. And it's one of the rotary phones. You remember when you was little and you'd have to dial somebody's number and you have to do the whole thing all the way around. All the way around. <laughs> Wasn't no star 67, star 69. Wasn't none of that. You just had to dial the number. Um, so yeah, I chose this because I wanted it to be like a little staple in my house. Now, the only thing is, is that I tried to, it also comes with the cord for you to plug it in the jack in my house i have to get it fixed you know we always usually use our cell phones and stuff i do have a landline but i'm using um like my um what am i trying to say my cordless phones and stuff so the jack i tried to stick this in doesn't work i have to have it rewired and so yeah they have to come out and fix it and don't think that i ain't already called because i want to plug up this phone i want to use it but when i first took it out the box and i showed my daughter and pooh bear they was like what is that <laughs> i'm like what that is a phone <laughs> oh my goodness i cannot wait to use this so this was that or if you know somebody like you know like your grandparents or somebody that would just get a kick out of having one of these phones um my mom's was a little fancier than this she had the one that had the the gold little thing that this sat on and it looked like it was from paris or something i don't know um but anyways yeah if you know somebody that'll get a kick out of having like a retro style phone or even just have it in your house as a statement piece people will come over and be like why what is that you know like look don't hate don't hate this is what we used to do in the long court remember that i'd have my thing sitting this thing would be on the wall somewhere not this one but you remember the skinny ones it'll be on the wall that cord had to be so long i could have walked all through the whole house went upstairs and everything until it starts staticking then it was all bad. <laughs> okay, so that is one of the items that I got from Timu this time. That is so fun. So, so fun. Okay, then I got Pooh Bear this um, bubble blaster um, little gun. And I wasn't, I wasn't, 
going to put bubbles in here and show you guys but i have to show you how good it works so i do have a little thing of bubbles right here uh it comes with a little tray so i'm just gonna pour a little bit on here because i prefer not to really do bubbles in the house if i can get this off hold on okay yeah like i was saying i prefer to not really do bubbles in the house but because i want to show you guys how good it works and i'm not about to go outside we're about to do this in the house so i'm only putting a little bit on here hopefully that's enough and i already put batteries in here and this thing is pretty cool so let me see all right so i'm just dipping it in the bubbles you guys know how this works and then and it has the little light i didn't put a lot on there but that was a lot of bubbles let's do it one more time okay i barely put anything on this tray so maybe if i would have filled it up and really dipped it a whole lot would have came out but it does have sorry <laughs> i didn't mean to flash that in y'all face but it does have that little blue light on the bottom that comes on so yeah, Pooh, like I said, Pooh Bear already played with this. He had a fun time in the backyard. Um, we love bubbles around here. So we have a couple bubble machines. And so he wanted the little gun so he can just run around with it. So we got that. Okay, this right here, I was excited to get. It's a pizza pack and it has five trays in here for, it says five microwavable pizza trays included. So this is so cool. Have you ever just ordered pizza? and let me open it you order pizza and um okay that's what it looks like so it has a little case and you just pop this open and you don't have you know you're you probably have like three or four slices uh left i mean you could put it on a plate put some foil over it put it in a ziploc bag or whatever you want to do um but why not hold on I'm trying to figure this out oh okay oh i was trying to figure out because i thought it was like five of these but it's not it's only one of these so what you do is let me figure it out what i was saying was it, it's collapsible so you push it out like that and then what i was saying was you ever have like two or three slices left and you don't want to you know you want to just store it somewhere and it's the shape of a pizza so you could just stick it in there i think you put that in there like that and then these are they stackable yeah i guess so so then after you put your slice in there you'll put another one of these in here i believe so they just kind of sit on top of each other okay so the pizza just sits on top of each other so you put the one down there you put another slice you put this in there and they just kind of keep stacking but this helps to keep the pizza separated so that they don't the cheese and stuff don't stick to the bottom of it it'll just be on here and it'll come off easy so you get five of those inserts that that's what it would look like and then you have your lid to put back on top and then like i said once once you're done it is collapsible and you just collapse it back and it's easy to store i was excited to get this i was really excited to get that i was like why do i not have one of these already okay so that just snaps back on so you have four snaps two on each side one at the bottom and one on the top so the little pizza is called a pizza pack right there okay a cutlery rack usually i open up everything before i even share it with you guys but however today i wasn't able to get to everything so let me open this up okay i knew i liked it when i seen it i know it comes in a different color so i chose the gold and i do i can't remember the other color i don't know if it was silver it's been a minute since i ordered it but i do know that the, if you don't like gold it does come in another color so hold on i think this bottom part comes off yeah so what does that say modern life so this is a tray on the bottom so you can either leave that down there i guess you could separate it and use it for whatever you want i'm gonna leave that down there it does have this hook which is that clear hook for you to be able to hang this up somewhere i don't know i don't i didn't get it to hang it up anywhere i just got it because this is a cutlery is that what it says yeah a cutlery rack 
So I guess if you want to hang it up, you can, but I got it cause I want it to sit on the counter like this. Um, yeah, cause we, we do, I told you guys before and don't judge me. <laughs> we do use plastic forks and spoons. Um, I do like to use paper plates. Um, I buy styrofoam cups at Dollar Tree. You know, I, that's, that's what we do because we get, I cook a lot and I get tired of washing dishes all the time. So if I can eliminate forks, spoons, plates, and cups, that's what we doing around here. Now, if, if you come over, if I invite you over and you're a guest in my house, we're going to use plates and regular forks and spoons and cups and stuff like that. But honey, we use plastic stuff. So I was going to put the forks and spoons in here. And that's why I chose this. Um, cause I do use, I at least buy the clear ones. I do buy the clear forks and spoons. And so I thought it would be cool <laughs> to go in here. And this is really nice. I like that. The cups do come out. So if you need to take them out, wash them, whatever, or you could, you, you can use this for whatever you want. You can put toothbrushes in here. You can put your makeup brushes and stuff at the bottom you can use the bottom for jewelry but i don't know whatever you want but this is cute and i just realized as i was putting it down don't listen to me don't take the tray out if you're using it this technically is supposed to be after you wash it that's what it was i just remembered as after you wash your dishes you're supposed to put the forks and the spoons and the cutlery stuff in here so that after you wash it it can drain this bottom part is the draining tray that's what it is and i just remembered that because when i looked at this it has holes at the bottom see i was telling y'all i was steering y'all wrong i didn't mean to but i was <laughs> i'm still gonna use it for my plastic forks and spoons on the counter i don't think i'm gonna use it for like the wet stuff but you know when i'm washing dishes but that's what it's supposed to be for and then this right here you would just take the tray out and and dump the water out okay moving on i also did not take this out this was oh yeah this was that clear pot i was excited by a clear pot i was like oh my goodness i want that because when you look on the timu app they show people cooking in this thing and you know she was making i think they was making either some noodles <laughs> or like a pot roast or something or something with some meat and some potatoes in it and it just was like oh that looks aesthetically it just it was just so nice and I was like I want a clear pot I want that clear pot so let me open this that's one thing too any and everything that I've gotten from Timmy uh -oh. um glass ceramic anything of the sort has never been broke they make sure this stuff is package really well oh i love that pot i ain't even really looked at it and just got it out the box and i already said i love it and look at that won't that be fun i just want to see what i'm cooking i think that would be nice if i made a little pot of chili you could watch it cook i just think this is so cool i should have got all three sizes i might i might or i might just get another one this size because i didn't want them to be too big but this is nice look at that it has the black arm right here with the wood handle. The top has the wood um, handle on that as well. And you guys, this is nice. This glass is nice and thick. Of course it's supposed to be, but do you see that? Oh, I love this. I love that. Oh yeah. So I was very excited by this pot. I was. I might cook in it tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to make yet, but... I'm definitely going to use this tomorrow. And I like how the handles sit up like that. And it's not actually like attached to the side of the pot for you to grab it. So it sits up for you to be able to kind of raise it up like that. Oh yeah. Me and my pot. <laughs> okay, you guys. Now this right here, uh, <laughs> there's a little story behind it. I have not figured it out. I'm usually good with electronics. I did not ask my son to help me. My One of my sons is the techie of the house. And so I would usually go to him and ask him to help me figure this out. I bought a translator earbud. Translator earbud. And there's a reason for that. Because a lot of times I'm out, I'm in a store, or even um, just certain places that I go, they're speaking and sometimes I want to know what they're saying or sometimes somebody will come up to me and speak to me in a different language and I'm like, what, huh, what'd you say? You know, and so a translator earbud, it looks exactly like um, just a regular, just a regular earbud. 
but some kind of way it comes in this little case like this right there and some kind of way you're supposed to be able to um i guess use it as a translator it's just a little regular ear earbud and you only get one and it comes with a charger and everything like that. And so I definitely got to figure this out. I have to figure this out because I was thinking to myself, can you, it says made for Android, iPhone, and an iPad, and it supports 33 languages and 44, 44 accents. Did my camera move? I don't know. Sometimes it seems like my stand be moving or maybe I just feel cricket. I don't know. But 33 languages and 44 accents, English, German, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Hungarian, Spanish, Italian. So the list goes on and I thought this would be uh, cool. Um, I hate that I can't review it for you guys and tell you if I love it or if it, if it really works or whatnot. But like I said, I haven't had a problem with any of Timu's stuff. Any electronic has always worked. I just haven't figured this one out yet. I know I have to download something on my phone, like an app or something connected to, like with the Bluetooth or what, whatever it is. Um, but like I said, I tried. I just couldn't figure it out, and I haven't talked to my son yet. So if you need something like this, try it. Check it out. Let me know if you like it, how it worked for you. It says voice translation, group translation, back office translation, or offline translation. I'm sitting there like, dang, if I'm in a nail shop and they talking and I got this in, can I understand what they saying? That's what I was hoping. I hope that that's how that works because that would be so cool. <laughs> that would be interesting. Um, yeah, so this was another item. So the next item I got because I absolutely love the green. I've been loving greens lately. Um, and this has the green in it with the blue and they're really light definitely like the material is not what i thought it would be when i seen it but however it's not bad i just thought it was going to be i don't know not canvas but some other material the good thing about it is it's waterproof definitely waterproof <laughs> so um however they don't fit they do not fit me they're a little too small i did try them on my it's just too small the inside is a little too tight i did get my size so i think these run a little small um, my size would be a 39, which was the eight and a half or the nine. So I probably should have went a size up, but that's okay. Um, but these are so cute. I'll just have to give these to uh, somebody I know, a friend, one of my sisters, a cousin, somebody. But these are really, really pretty. Love the color and the print on those. Okay, now these right here, I like them i think these are so cool now the reason why i got these is because when i seen them on the website i was like hold up is that a dupe for and show sure enough they are they are a dupe for the doc martens doc martens makes one just like this they look exactly like this they have that thread on the side just like that like theirs and they have that yellow tag in the back right here but of course there's say dr like doc you know uh this one just says i don't even know what those letters are w something lke or something like that you guys already know how yeah you know <laughs> if you know you know um but so this is definitely a dupe and it does have a buckle um to fasten it but i tried them on they're nice they have the crisscross in the front and um definitely saves you some money from getting the real ones uh which i wouldn't wear them often anyway and so i'll just put these on when i'm just you know just wanna i don't know when i feel like i want to wear these but i love that they have that yellow thread just like the real ones so um i don't know if i have a picture if i do i'll put it on the screen to show you what i mean but yes these are cute and that is why I got these and these are true to size. Okay, so th this one I got in a 41. I don't know why I got the other ones in a 39 and this one in a 41. I don't know. I don't know what be going through my mind. I think I'll be looking at the reviews and sometimes people, if you read all the reviews, sometimes they say smaller, size up, true to size, all that type of stuff. So I think I went up, but these fit perfect. So um, yeah, that's why I got these another cute pair of sandals right here i like the way they fit the bottoms remind me of um that's what it looks like 
So it kind of has that like cute little bow right here. Right there. The bottoms remind me of one of those um, old school, the erasers. <laughs> Remember when we was in school and you'd have that eraser that kind of looked like that? That is what, to me, what the bottom reminds me of. It actually feels like that as well. But nicely made. Um, whenever I try on any shoes that are like from Timu or places like this, I put on, I do a run test. So I put them on and I'll run to the other side of the house to see if the strap is gonna break. I pull on it. I, I start messing with it just to make sure because that's the last thing I need is to be in a shoe like this, walking somewhere, even though, you know, I might have to do a fast walk or something. Something might just make me have to, I might be in a grocery store and hear, the, hear a loud boom or something and I'm trying to get up out of there. I don't need my shoe to break. I don't need to be in a pair of shoes and then I'm outside in the parking lot and they like, what was that noise? And I'm the one standing out there with one shoe on. That's what I don't need to happen. So I always do my test <laughs> and I tested these and they were very durable. So I'm happy about these and I think they are so cute. They're really, really cute. And I like the light, like the cream, the natural color. So definitely happy about these. Okay, we got a couple more things, you guys. Um, here's another dupe, which would be, let me take it out the wrapper. Okay, trying to get it all out the plastic. Okay, so this is another dupe for a coach belt. You see that with the C on it? And I actually have a coach belt with that same style C on it. And, um, looks pretty nice look at that so i just went with the brown belt with the gold buckle and um yeah it does have the two fasteners right there that you you know connect it to and you just slide it through and it has the little holes and the little thing that you just kind of pop it in right there so it would be like that tell me that doesn't look like the real thing it sure does because like i said i had to pull mines out to compare it and i was like what what okay so <laughs> definitely a good find yeah see this is exactly why i usually take everything out the wrappers because now it's i feel like the video is taking longer than it should because i didn't do my due diligence and get everything unwrapped for you guys before i started okay so i always end up getting some shades from um timu and these are actually the quicksilver brand so i love that red right there it has the little logo right here that says quicksilver um and so i got this red pair like this the lenses are not tinted red. They're kind of like a, like a brown. And then I also got this black pair. And that little blue tab right there, it says Quicksilver. Hopefully that's not blurry. And um, the lenses on these are kind of like that blue purple. And the inside has like this like graffiti print. Not that that matters because it's on the inside of your face. But I like the bluish purple tint on these and that's why I got them. So let's see. Oh yeah, these are cute. They would actually go with what I'm wearing. So I chose those and then these, the red, and I like the shape of these. Oh yeah, those are cute. Let's fluff the hair, fluff the hair with the shades. Okay, those are cute too. So both the Quicksilver glasses and um i was surprised to even see um quicksilver on there i don't know back back in the day quicksilver was a really good brand it still is but i know that was more like beachwear surfer type stuff so i don't know but i like i like these so <laughs> i ordered them okay so this next item um has a remote and it's this light right here and this box actually comes with three lights so you get three. I only put batteries in this one. Unfortunately, this is one of those items where you have to use batteries. Um, and it takes three AAA. And so I had to put batteries in here and in the remote as well. But in this set, you get three of the lights, which I'm getting ready to show you is still a really good thing to have. So they come with the little sticker thing on the back. So you can just post this anywhere you want. 
Um, you don't have to use the remote. Say you want to put this right when you're walking in your closet and you don't want to turn on your closet light. You have your walk-in closet. Well, you can sit this right by the door on the inside and when you walk in, just kind of turn and press this because it is bright. Um, so you can press it without using the remote. If you do that, I don't want to face it at you. You see that? That thing is bright, 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 bright. So that'll light up the whole closet pretty much, well, part of the closet. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to use two lights in there. Um, but if you don't want to press it, you can use the remote, which has the on off and then it has a timer and then you have the dimmer on there as well. So I'm going to turn it on. So you have it on right there. You can turn it off or turn it on and then dim it. So as you can see, well, it's only two settings. So high, low, high, low. And then if you want, you can just, let me turn it off. If you want, you can use the timer and then that way you turn it on. It could be used as a nightlight for the baby. I don't know, put it in the bottom of the room in the corner, turn it on, leave it on for 30 minutes until they fall asleep and then it'll cut off after 30 minutes or anything like that. So I love these kind of lights. And like I said, it has the sticker in the back so you can just pull that off and stick it wherever you want. And once you stick it on the wall, when you want to change the battery, you would just turn the light and then take that part off, leave this part on the wall like that. And then it'll just pop back on and then you twist it. And so, yes, I'm loving all my lights. And the remote also has the little sticker thing on the back. So, uh, the little case. So you would put this on the wall like that and then it'll just sit in there and that's the case. And then you can just take it off like that. So. So what I was saying was I love all my lights from them and I really like that this has the remote. And like I said, there's three of them. Oh, and that's it. I thought I had one more item, but I don't. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. If I did, then I will add that item to the next haul. Um, yeah, cause I thought I had one more thing. Okay, well, I thank you guys for watching this Timu haul. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you with any of your uh, <laughs> multiple shopping uh, purchases on or mo let me let me rephrase that. I hope this helped you with any of your future Timu purchases. And like I said, all the items that I just showed you uh, is usually down below in the description box. So check down there uh, and that's it. So I'm going to find something to cook in my clear pot. And um, yeah, <laughs> I was serious about that pot. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys real soon in my next video. Bye.